What is up, obscure Mike people? It's your boy, your boy Blue from old school. Actually, it's Bark. Bark in a buck shirt. I'm a Cavs fan. This is a travesty. Why am I doing this? What is wrong with me? A lot is wrong with me, but not today because we've got a uh, another cad in the studio, and you guys know that I've been loving on some cad lately, and that's ever since uh, cad sent me over the E40, which is a $99 phenom of a microphone, build quality, all of the above, just solid as a rock, as they say on the Chevy commercials, but upon hearing my video of the E40, I made a little tidbit of... Uh, of a statement about not having any other CAD mics. So what does CAD do? They take care of you. And thus they sent over the CAD E100SX, the successor to the E100S. Took me a second there, which I have on the way as long as, you know, as long as it works out. The guy sent me a picture and he threw the E100S in a box full of packing peanuts. No protection otherwise, just in a box a big box full of packing peanuts so that Mike's going to be bouncing all around. It's probably not going to end well, which will be the second time I missed out on an E100S, but that's okay. Cause CAD did hook me up with this one. Let's take a look at it real quick and then we'll get to the tests and my thoughts and all that good stuff. All right. We've got some documentation that we'll quickly disregard. Then we've got the box, which you open up and they've got some diagrams and stuff. They did this on the, uh, a static a 55. I think it is maybe it was, that wasn't it, but a 77, something like that. They did this on that too. And it was really cool, but this is a, this is nice. This is something fun to look at, especially if you know what the hell you're looking at. But me, I do not. Now let's take out the microphone real quick. Cause I've already got the foam and stuff out of there, so to speak, but you've got the same build quality as the E40, except rubber coated. And of course it does feel just a smidge heavier. Got a couple of filter switches there, same shock mount system, same XLR on the back as the E40 right there. Just a really beautiful mic. Nothing else in there except now. And so obviously you guys probably want to hear it in comparison to the E40, since this is 99 bucks. And now the E100SX has been dropped to $199. $199 for this thing. Word. Word. Let's go ahead and do some tests. We'll talk about it some more. We'll throw on the E40. Just see what we got. Medium diaphragm condenser here. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing crazy big, which, you know what? Again, this small diaphragm, this medium diaphragm, just driving home the point that sometimes... Smaller is better. All right, let's go. Peter Piper picked a peck of friggin' harsh plosives. That's what he picked, Peter Piper. Yep, 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 yep. You got to use this correctly uh, or you're going to pop the heel out of the microphone. I'm not going to do any more plosives because we know it's bad, but you talk past it. You know, we, we, the creator connection, me and Pags, we talked about this like, just don't put the mic directly in front of you and you can Peter Piper all day. Peter, 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 Peter all day. When you get right on top of the microphone, my goodness, you got some proximity effect there. And this is what it sounds like. It's not boomy. It's just right in your face with that proximity effect. Going back off the mic. This is a super cardioid condenser microphone. So we are going to uh, hopefully have some really good off axis rejection talking into the front of the microphone. Now we're going to go 90 degrees off axis rejection, 180 degrees, 90 degrees again, and then slowly back around to the front of the microphone. I mean, my level meters said it was just average, but my ears said it was better than average for a condenser microphone. Let's go ahead and throw on some filter switches. Low cut first. We're talking into it in flat mode. Now we're going to engage the low cut filter. The low cut filter is now on. And this is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like if you use proximity effect. Now with the low cut filter on, if you're a close miking kind of person, this might work wonders for you. Let's go back to flat. Now we're back in flat mode. You guys know me. I like my big old rounded out bottoms and this has one nice low end. Let's go ahead and do the 10 decibel pad talking into it. Now going to engage 
Now the 10 decibel pad is on, and this is what it sounds like with my hand in the air with a 10 decibel pad. 10 decibel pad is now off. Let's do handling noise. Not good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right. Y'all want to see my face? Well, you already see my face, but y'all want to hear the E40? Yeah, brother, show us your E40. Show us your E40, brother. Well, here it is. I missed this thing. I haven't had this thing out of the box in a minute because of this. I've been using this to do the video, but man, let's just look at them. Just, would you look at them? Black and gold, baby. Black and yellow, black and yellow. I got to say, build quality is just tit for tat here. Tit for tat. Yeah. Good. Man. I love it, dude. I just love the style of this. Someone commented and said that it looked like a big version of the Samson Go mic. That's pretty accurate. That is pretty accurate. Let's go ahead and uh, and hit this E40 up real quick, and I'll talk into it for a second, and then we'll we'll go back to the E100SX. We'll give it a BB SAR grade. We'll give it some love or some hate. All right, so there we go. E40, $99 in my headphones the level sounds similar of course i'll balance them in post a little bit but this is nice man i i feel like if you want a a clear vocal microphone a clear may, maybe you got a bassy voice this would work better on but this thing is nice and clean very clean very clear i still really like this microphone quite a bit but this is the e40 99 dollars. this is what that will get you and i know what's going to happen some people are going to say i preferred the e40 and you know what i get it the e100 sx is a little woolier and a little more bass heavy and it does have kind of a uh, a brighter top end as well this thing's more smooth to me all the way throughout but i do like the the radio broadcast kind of sound so I'm not sure. I, I honestly, I'm not going to say which one I like more because I think they're both really, really good. But let's switch back to the E100SX. So now we're back on the E100SX. I got to say, like, I am more partial to this sound because I do like that low end and the top end is really nice. But I, this is awesome, too. I, I think both of these have a place in someone's mic locker, personally. I just don't think there is a uh, a con at $99 or at $199 for these mics. And, of course, when I get the E100SN, I will probably throw all three of them back on there. And if I ever get a E100 or E100 II, we'll, we'll do the same thing. But I like this microphone a lot. I see why the E100S was big for voiceover. Now, they sound different. I know that, but I... I'm guessing it's an in-between, like the E40, the E100S, E100SX. Again, you guys know I love this nice, full, low end with a nice presence boost on top of it. Sounds really good to me. For $199, I don't think you can go wrong with this, and I don't think you can go wrong 99 bucks on the other one. The build quality, absolutely phenomenal. Shock mount, build in. I have seen some people had problems with the bands. I don't plan on uh, taking this on an awful lot, so I hope the bands don't ever give me an issue. But if they do, they do. We'll figure it out. The sound for $199, I think, is top-notch. The XLR on the back, the off-axis rejection was good. Plosives were bad, but, you know, I stated last night that I don't really give a damn about plosives most of the time because you're not supposed to just do this. You know, you're not supposed to just do this, even though it does sound nice to get up on like that. You shouldn't do that. BBSR time. Let's roll into it. The E100SX on the BBSR. I'm going to give this thing a rock solid eight, which means it's a great buy. If I were to do decimals today, it would be an 8.5. It would be in between a very strong buy and great. It would be right in the middle there. I just don't think you can go wrong depending on your voice. Some voices I could see this not working on at all. Now, as far as sibilance, I'm going to do this for PAGs over at MEI Studios. Over at MEI Studios. The snake over at the MEI Studios. By snake, I mean he's got a hanging S-curved thing 
hanging from his jeans. And it's one of those braided belts that people used to, used to have the freaking, they didn't tuck the tongue in. They just let the braided belt part hang straight down. That's a nineties thing. In case you didn't know the leather braided belts. And yes, I had one. I might've had two. I think I had a black one and a brown one. And sometimes they did S shape on you a little bit hanging down. What the hell was that all about? We had some cool crap in the nineties, but we had some really questionable crap as well, as far as fashion and style and all that goes. But yeah, this thing, 8.5, let's just solidify it. It's in between an eight and a nine. It's not completely perfect just because I think, uh, I think perfect, which I, I do regret handing out a 10 a while back ago. That was just, man, I was just in a good mood that day. Apparently that was, and it, I did really enjoy it at the time. Things change over time. Re-reviews are going to happen. The pod mic's going to get re-reviewed. The PD 70 is going to get re-reviewed. Anything I feel like I need to just set the record straight on after a longer uh, period of time has passed. Cause let's face it. When the pod mic came out, we didn't have what we have today. And I know it only came out a handful of years ago, but it was a big deal then. It's not now, but 8.5 CAD E 100 SX CAD, the folks at CAD, you guys are awesome. Like seriously, absolutely awesome. I appreciate it. I've got another one from them unreleased. Don't even know if anybody's seen it yet, unless you've happened to have stumbled upon the listing, but, uh, that'll come out to members before it drops publicly membership hit join. You get early releases. You get a uh, monthly podcast, and uh, if you join the membership at the $5 tier, you also could win gear each month. I spin a little wheel, just like Plinko or Wheel of Fortune or, well, it's like Wheel of Fortune. E100SX is out of here. Thanks again, CAD. I enjoy this one. None of these CAD mics are going anywhere. I have made the decision that Ohio company, Ohio guy, these mics, ride or die. Just did that on the fly. Obscure mics. Peace out.